hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you are showing me here with i am grateful and to all my members you all are super sweet so today we'll be talking something very important and it's about ron the sun is actually he showed up at the video of what happened in florida right and he was booed and do i blame people no because you all already know what florida is um florida is where what goes to die and the rest of it and also nwacp is also issuing travel advisory for people going to florida i mean florida is not a safe place for you and i will keep shouting it till you all wake up so i mean a lot of people are some punk color people are like saying why are black people like booing him and all that that black people are being raped to the and that we are black people are letting the media control their mind and then it was in the end that i found out that she is supporting trump and at the same time supporting ronda sanis that was actually where i gave up because i already know what she's that uh, what she is for right and black people are really bitter like why did he show up there i mean with everything he has done and still says about a black community and he still show up to donate money and the rest of it and uh, see i want you all to know that i mean they have been hammering about gun control especially in Flor uh, florida and he has never done anything about that and then he is coming to like you know bring up money because yeah he is bringing up money now and he's saying yeah i am with you people like he got you people's back i want you all to know that he does not have you people's back and that is on period so the video where he was booed is in the comment section click on it to go see it and there is also another one about a black woman who actually was saying she's going to collect gifts around the sun is brought you also will say it because some people actually have nasty attitude i'm gonna roll this clip we'll come back to talk about it let me know what you all think in the comments so let's get into this video i just want to make things clear no matter how much money ron DeSantis donates in regards to this tragedy that took place in jacksonville where a domestic terrorist went into a dollar general and murdered three people because they were black no matter how much money ron DeSantis donates it will never be enough to wash the blood from his hands you see for years ron DeSantis has used his platform as he's running for president to attack the black community first it was crt you see black people we knew that CRT was not being taught in schools from grades K through 12. We knew that was a subject that was being taught at the college level. But you see, when it comes to racist white people, they don't care about facts. They care about who's speaking out against the black community. Who's trying to knock down the black community and they will jump on whatever it is that they are pushing, whatever it is that they are talking about. Then it was stop woke. We know woke was code for black. We knew that. Stop woke, anti-woke. They even made a slogan, go woke, go broke. Every press conference he gave, every campaign speech he made, every opportunity that he got, he mentioned woke, stop woke, anti-woke. Florida is where woke goes to die, clearly. Then he attacked black people by banning books and specifically banning books authored by black people, books that talked about the black experience. Mm -hmm. Anything with the word black, black community, um, inspirational towards black, he got banned. Then he attacked black people by banning AP African American history. Wasn't a necessary value, he said. 
That was his reasoning for removing AP African American history from Florida's curriculum. Then he attacked black basketball players, calling them freaks of nature. Then he attacked black people by removing offices of diversity, equity, and inclusion on college campuses across the state, specifically state colleges. Then he attacked black people by gerrymandering the state and suppressing their vote. He even went so far to publicize the state arresting people who were eligible to vote. All of the people that he arrested they were black people. And when he did that stunt, he made it very public. It was nationwide news. You see, a lot of people look at Ron DeSantis as ignorant and stupid. I don't. I look at Ron DeSantis and I see a maniacal, cunning individual. I see evil. I see insidious I see demonic, a straight up fascist, and he knows exactly what he's doing. In the two press conferences that I saw that Ron DeSantis did, he called the domestic terrorist a scumbag, and he said that no one should be targeted because of their race. Ron DeSantis himself is a scumbag, and for years he's been targeting black people in the state of Florida. The NAACP knew it was a dangerous situation, which is why they put out that travel advisory. They knew that black people's lives were, are in danger in the state of Florida. And now that he's stirred up so much hate that it moved a domestic terrorist to murder three people because they were black. Now he wants to attempt to wash the blood from his hands by committing to donate $1 million to Edward Waters College. He's also committing to donating $100,000 to a charity that is supporting the family of the victims. No matter how much money he donates, it will never be enough to wash the blood from his hands. Do you remember this video? Remember when he gave this speech after re-election letting us know exactly what he was fighting? We fight the woke in the legislature. We fight the woke in the schools. We fight the woke in the corporations. We will never ever surrender to the woke mob. Florida is where woke goes to die. Where woke goes to die. I think they mean black. Yeah. It's just another way to say thug or something else, right? I've made mention on this platform about stochastic terrorism. Stochastic terrorism is the public demonization of a person or a group that leads to the instigation of a violent act. A violent act that is probable but whose specifics cannot be predicted. And this probability is one of the main reasons why several organizations made travel advisories for the state of Florida for black folks, for LGBTQ plus folks, and for immigrants. This is the reality. And we've seen several examples of this already from politicians that have led directly to rises in violent crimes against marginalized groups in this country. And Florida right now seems to be at the heart of it all. Ron DeSantis has directly contributed to the climate that makes room for these attacks. He's used warlike language about never surrendering, about how Florida's where woke goes to die. And then he tries to offer half-hearted condolences like we don't know what the fuck is going on. Targeting people due to their race has no place in the state of Florida. Florida is where woke goes to die. Casey and I extend condolences. These deaths are on your hands. Well, thank you for doing this. I wanted to say to the councilwoman, councilwoman, councilwoman. Make no mistake, America has a white domestic terrorist problem. A 21-year-old white man living with his parents did this. It was carefully, meticulously planned, undoubtedly studying mass shootings that have happened before. Before he took his own life, he texted his dad to go into his room where they found several anti-black manifestos. One written to his parents, one to the police, and one to the media. Three lives lost. Angela Michelle Carr, 52. Gerald Galleon, 29, just like me. And AJ Laguerre Jr., 19. And it pains me to even think how many lives would have been lost if he took his AR-15 with swastikas on it into Edward Waters University in Newtown. 
If that student didn't flag down the campus security officer when he saw that white man looking out of place. If that campus officer didn't make the shooter leave. If he didn't follow him until he was off campus. How often has black hypervigilance saved lives? I want to be very clear, this isn't just about the GOP. We need more accomplices. I need so-called allies to move beyond allyship and pick up accompliceship. We need more people whose anti-racism doesn't just stop at empathy and understanding. We need more people who understand the severity of the moment, who will pick up the battle and do the work, who will actually stand with us. It is right now. It is right now. It is a matter of life and death, and the complacency and the silence is quite literally killing us. Rest in power to those who lost their lives. May their memories be a blessing to those that love them. Leave a comment to boost this important message, and as always, like and follow for more content. This right here is the General Dollar store where that racist attack happened over the weekend in Jacksonville. Uh, there was a vigil just down the street here on Sunday where Governor Ron DeSantis was uh, briefly booed by some members of the crowd who clearly disagree with his and his administration's stance on how African-American history is taught in the state. It's been a contentious issue. A local councilwoman got up and told everyone, look, it's time to put politics aside right now and remember what's really important here. And it's those three people, three African-American people who were uh, killed just going about their day. What we know about the gunman, 21 years old, white male, uh, had left racist writings behind. He was able to legally purchase two weapons uh, because he had no criminal record, although he was involuntarily uh, committed back in 2017 for a mental health evaluation, but was released. What we know about the victims is they range in age from 52 to 19 years old. And I spoke uh, with the family of one of the victims, Gerald Gallion, who was 29 years old. He leaves behind a four-year-old daughter and they were struggling at this point to even try to break the news to her. They said they had no idea how they would tell her that her father was gone. Okay, so I got two questions. One, who the fuck let Ron DeSantis in this vigil? You feel what I'm saying? Like, uh, like I'm not, I know you fucking lying. I know you lying. All the shit, Ron, all the, all, all the shit that Ron has said against black people, all the policies that he's introduced, and he has and he has the fucking audacity to show up. Actually, actually, matter of fact, someone else had the audacity to fucking invite this nigga. Who the fuck did that shit? First of all, second of all, what happened to the John Wilkes Booths of our society? What the fuck happened to y'all? You feel what I'm saying? Like, this was a perfect opportunity. Perfect opportunity. Nigga, we, we used to be a proper society. Niggas would see some shit like this, the wide open landscape, no one expecting it. And they were, and and and, and y'all and y'all used to get active. What the fuck happened? <laughs> y'all used to y'all used to handle that shit. When politicians started speaking nonsense, niggas 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 started handling that. What happened? Oh, we we are we are we are losing our values that we used to have. Cause cause what? Why did why why did no one why did no one pull a fucking John Hinckley on this nigga? You feel what I'm saying? Like like why why did why did that not occur? <laughs> That's the question I'm asking. Like where are y'all hiding at? Where where are these John Wilkes boots in our in our in in our in our in our world today? Where where are y'all hiding at? Stop hiding. Pop out. Come on. Come on, like. Uh, perfect opportunity and you're just not taking it you can take it you can take it harriet tubman took it take the opportunity take it <laughs> so i got two questions one who the fuck let Ron DeSantis? He basically said in the video, why is nobody handling Ron DeSantis? You want to know why? Because modern day leftists and all that progressive shit, progressive people don't kill public figures. They don't have that shit in them because they, they, they don't have the dog in them to kill public figures. Like, think about it. When you look throughout history, who are the people getting assassinated? People like fucking... MLK, JFK, fucking Abraham Lincoln. When you look at them, they're all progressive figures. They're all progressive figures. Who killed them? Conservative right wingers. Le American leftists do not have the dog in them to kill people. I've been saying this. They don't exist. All of these modern day revolutionaries, if you were to give them a gun and say, kill that dude right there, they wouldn't do it. Even if that guy was threatening to bring black slavery, they would not kill him. 
modern day leftists when it comes to the assassination of public figures are bitch made. I've been saying this and there's nothing wrong with that. But you're talking about where are all these people that can like handle that? They don't exist. They do not exist. Leftists like yo, y'all remember the, the Capitol raid that fucking Trump did? The fucking Capitol raid. Do you think that like a uh, progressive leftists could have pulled that shit off? Fucking no. You want to know why? Because they you, there used to be a whole fucking group of people who did fucking revolutionary shit. You don't remember fucking Antifa? Yeah. They're not here anymore. The most that fucking leftists can do is burn down fucking targets and shit and just mass riot and destroy their own communities. That's what fucking happens. We don't have fucking organized violence like the fucking right does. The left does not have organized violence. That's what's missing. That's what's missing. And I know this sounds radical as fuck. I don't care because it's the fucking truth. The left and the progressives do not have organized radical violence. It's always just wild, chaotic shit like burning down fucking targets and setting fucking shit on fire. They're never. Do you think leftists could ever pull off something like the fucking Capitol raid? No. No, it would never happen. Because Antifa, the shit was there. The fucking blueprint to have some fucking radical movement was there. When was the last time y'all heard about Antifa? I haven't heard about Antifa in like fucking three years. Because they're bitch made. And I mean that. They don't have organized violence. They don't have the dog in them. This is Governor Ron DeSantis being booed at a vigil for the victims of the white supremacist murderer in Jacksonville, Florida. The same Ron DeSantis who sent his election police after predominantly black voters, who pushed anti-black education policies, who disenfranchised an entire community of black voters, whose favorite slogan? Florida is where woke goes to die, is where woke goes to die. Ron DeSantis' continued attacks on the black community have put a target on the backs of black Floridians. So it shouldn't be surprising when a shooter follows through. The nerve of this man. He really must think that people are stupid. Anybody that will sit through that level of booing and not show an authentic reaction to it, I would never trust. We see you, the people see you, the gaslighting isn't even that good. I want to just say to the councilwoman, 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 I got you, don't worry about it. We've already been looking uh, to identify funds to be able to help, one, make sure there's adequate security for Evan Waters College. We are not going to allow these institutions to be targeted by people. We so we have already identified uh, funds from the state of Florida. We're going to be I've been in touch with Dr. Faison. Uh, we're going to be announcing uh, some stuff tomorrow morning, uh, which I think will help not only with security, but also an attempt to help these families. Uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, you had a major league scumbag come from Clay County up here. And what he did, what he did is totally unacceptable in the state of Florida. We are not going to let people be targeted based on their race. Uh, we are going to stand up and we are going to do what we need to do to make sure that evil does not triumph in the state of Florida. And that means we are going to work with Edward Waters so that they have whatever security they need. In Florida, we've already given a lot of money to Jewish day schools because they've been targeted with anti-Semitism. But let me tell you this, you are not going to target HBCUs in the state of Florida and get away with it. We're going to hold you accountable. We're not going to let it happen. And we thank what everybody's done, TK, the mayor, and just know that the state of Florida stands with the community. Help is on the way. God bless you all. So Ron DeSantis got booed trying to show up for black people. The same Ron DeSantis that's been attacking wokeness, which has black roots, by the way. The same Ron DeSantis that's been attacking black history in his public schools. This Ron DeSantis went to a black community that was hurting and expected to be well received. Listen, man, don't spend all this time attacking us and what we stand for and our push for a more equitable society and then try to pull up and score some political points. Lord, the governor Ron DeSantis is here. This is what I'm going to say about this. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm from Florida. Obviously, I supported the governor. This is a direct result of what the media has done. Okay? 
you had this horrible tragedy happen in Jacksonville where it was a racial motivated shooting happened and people lost their lives. The governor has then come down to ask thoughts, whatever. He comes to make a speech and the crowd starts booing and being disgusting and despicable towards this man. And you want to know why? Because they have let the media infect their minds of propaganda against this man. Okay, so first you're going to hear leftists go, oh, he just cares about being president. He just completely left Florida behind. Meanwhile, he's already called state of emergency for our, our state for the incoming hurricane. And he is showing up in Jacksonville. And before he made the speech about calling the national emergency for the hurricane, he addressed the Jacksonville shooting. Okay, he is doing everything that he can do under the realm of being a governor, okay? He is here in Florida instead of out on the campaign trail. He is handling the, the hurricane coming in, and he's also there, boots on the ground in Jacksonville, talking to leaders about this happening. So he is A, doing his job, and B, being a governor while on the campaign trail, okay? But these people have let the media into their heads to think that he is racist and he doesn't care about Florida. And they've let these people infect their minds in the way that they think towards him, okay? This is what happens when you have mainstream media outlets that continue to divide people on race, politics, abortion, trans this, trans that, gay versus straight. This is what happens because... 90% of the time when you go out in public, people are just living their lives. You want to know where all the hate comes on social media. That's where it comes. Everybody else in the real world is just out there living their lives. So you have this man who is boots on the ground in Jacksonville while handling an incoming hurricane here in our state, doing his job. He can't even get up behind a microphone and make a speech about the horrible tragedy in Jacksonville without y'all in the corners, boo, boo, boo. If he didn't show up, you would be screaming, oh my God, where's the governor? He's not here. If he didn't declare a national state of emergency and start preparing our state for the hurricane coming in, you'd be screaming, oh my God, Ron DeSantis isn't here. He doesn't care about Florida. All he cares about being president. So make up your minds. What do you want to be outraged today about? What is he not doing today for you guys? Okay. And yes, I'm supporting Trump in the election, but I'm damn sure still going to stand for Governor DeSantis because he has done a great job here in Florida. And y'all just let the media infect your mind with garbage and hate. The man is here doing his job like he's supposed to be doing his job. And y'all are still pressed about it because you just want to be hateful. You just want to be nasty. You just want to go, boo, you suck, Governor DeSantis. Meh. But if he wasn't here handling this stuff, you'd be screaming on your social media that he wasn't doing his job and all he cared about is being president. Like y'all don't, you guys get so triggered and upset, you don't even know what you're upset about from one minute to the next. He's here in Florida. He's doing his job. He called for the state of emergency. And before he did that, he addressed the, the Jacksonville shooting. And all you see are the Democrats all over Twitter already calling for gun control because some crazy guy who was racially motivated did a horrible tragedy to people that didn't deserve it. But you're going to take this moment while people are speaking about this to the family members and pull your dumb political narrative out. Boo! Make up your mind what you want to be irritated about today and stop letting the media continue to divide us because that's exactly this is the result of that. Y'all, he's here. He's doing his job. He's preparing our state for a hurricane that is incoming and at the same time is in Jacksonville handling this situation as well. And the amount of disrespect that people show, I always find that just disgusting. Because if he wasn't here, you'd be screaming about it then. If he is here and you're still upset about it. So like make up your mind. You just want to be hateful. That's all. You could care less if the guy's here doing his job. You just want to be hateful and show your ass out on social media as some big gotcha moment to try to paint him out to be some horrible people. And I see it all over this app. There's people on this app. Oh, he's a racist. He's baby Hitler. All this kind of crap. Meanwhile, what he has done is still stand up for the state of Florida. Yes, there are still issues here that need to be addressed. I am well aware of that. There are housing crisis, which is the entire country right now, not just here. There's always been insurance issues in Florida prior to him becoming governor. So that's no different either. So yes, there are other things that he can do and he still has time to do them. But 
This kind of garbage is a direct reflection of the media's bullshit narrative against Governor DeSantis. They don't like him because he was a popular candidate, and that's it. The same way they are about Trump, and this is what happens when you allow the media in your head and it infects your everyday day of thinking. So it just irritates the shit out of me because it's like the man can't win. The same like Trump. Trump could cure cancer tomorrow and you guys would be like, oh, I didn't ask him to cure my cancer. How dare he? Like it's never a win-win with you guys. Either he's not here and it's a problem or he's here and it's a problem. It's like make up your mind what you want to be upset about from one minute to the next because all you guys care about is virtue signaling on your social media while this man is here actually doing his job. So there's that. That's my rant this morning. Good talk. They just booed the mess out of DeSantis at the Jacksonville vigil. I'm sure you heard about the white male who unalived three black people in a okay, Dollar this General. Is from the and let me start with the last person that spoke. I mean, she needs to take several seats on a serious note. I am not joking about this. This got nothing to do with what media is saying or what medias are saying. It is what we are saying. It is what he is doing. It is the things he has done. It got nothing to do with media. It is what, what we are seeing firsthand as people, especially African Americans. I mean, what planet is she even from? Let me start with that. And the fact that she is also a Trump supporter, it tells a lot on her. And that she is supporting uh, Ron DeSantis for Florida. All the best to you, ma'am. Like I keep saying, most of them do not even, because it is not affecting them, for that reason, they don't come out to scream or shout. It is black people shout and scream. So you all keep screaming and keep shouting because you cannot even trust a palm colored woman. They are not out. It's that is on period. It's either you, I, I'm sure you all know that already because for her to come out and say all this, there is no media controlling anybody. Almost all the things that we see, he says, and all that, it is against black people. And the fact, I was actually surprised that he went there. Do I blame anybody that booed him? I do not blame anybody that booed him because he is anti-black. Work, work, work. That is where work every day. He literally does not have any agenda or any plan because for any campaign uh, speech he goes to, like he gives, it is either he is calling now, I am going to destroy leftism, work and throw them in the dustbin where they belong, which he is doing. It is obvious we are seeing it. You all already know, um, uh, uh, NWACP already give travel advisory. It is not safe for you or your family or anybody. It's been done. It's not like anybody is making anything up. Nobody is making anything up. It is what it is. It is how it is. And that is also how I am saying it. I am saying it is not safe for any of you. And you all heard what happened. Also, he actually went there. What was he even like? How I don't know, but how do people like, you know, people you don't uh, like, people you don't want and all that. And he went there to tell them that he is with them. And there is actually a woman. I saw her video. I am going to put it in the link and description, description box so you all can go see her. Because some black people are also part of the problem. She was screaming, you all shut up. Let the party start. I mean, she has a nasty attitude. I am not going to lie about that. Which party start where they are, where people are mourning. And he said whatever gifts around the sunny's brains that she's going to collect it and the rest of it. Mom, this is how you people will sell your community and then turn around to start saying she was the one that said in one video that I said that it breaks her heart that the people in the community, especially the kids, get to be saying things like this all the time. And then she turned around to go and collect gifts. Like, how exactly? Make this thing make sense because you cannot be for me and you're at the same time against me. You have to take one. You have to choose where you want to belong. This is where I'm going to draw the call. And thank you so much for the support. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.